Hi, oh, yeah, Martin here. Thank you for joining me for Turner's Journey episode eight. Uh, it's great to have you along. Um, thank you very much indeed, as always, for all of the comments on my previous videos. Um, Fifi, in particular, on uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah, yeah, Fifi on Wednesday, yeah. Thank you very much indeed for comments on that, and also Turner's Journey episode seven. Um, and if you have subscribed recently, big warm welcome to you guys too, and hello to everybody um, who is an existing subscriber. Um, I haven't managed to reply to all of the comments um, on uh, on Fifi just yet. I'll get onto those um, a little bit later on today. Um, but the response um, about Fifi has been um, has been brilliant, and I'm very sorry, but I forgot to calculate the height of the bowl in proportion to the um, in proportion to the diameter um, using the golden ratio of 1 to 1.618. Very sorry about that. Um, most people seem to agree with me um, and my comment in the video that um, the wall should have been a little bit thinner. Um, so I'll, I'll do another one. Um, I won't do a video about it, but I'll, I'll turn another one um, around um, around the ratio um, at some point so you can uh, so you can see what a full bowl um, will look like. Um, and other people have also said that they work their their um, their pieces out by using the rule of thirds, um, which is um, a similar principle to um, to the golden ratio. So yeah, all of um, all of the comments on on her. Thank you very much. It was a really interesting project to do. Um, and just on a side note, I do normally just turn by eye. Um, I, I find a point and go that looks good and go for it from there. Um, but this one I actually worked out. Properly mathematical like um, cherry bowl. Cherry bowl last week uh, weighed fifteen hundred and fifty-seven grams. This week um, she weighs fifteen hundred and forty-three, um, which is a difference of fourteen grams. Um, so her, her her rate of rate of um, drying out has begun to slow down. But that could also be because there's been a bit more moisture in the air because it's been raining a lot, and also the fact that it's getting cooler as well. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see and, and follow her on how she gets on. But she is holding firm. She's not she's not uh, not moved at all since last week, which is uh, which is awesome. Now this week, this week in the workshop, apart from Fifi. Um, and running around after various people and stuff and doing school runs etc etc I turned this little natural edge um, hazel bowl um, really quite uh, quite sweet um, the thinnest natural edge bowl um, I've turned as far as the as far as the walls are concerned um, hazel she's lovely um, it's really really pretty and I'm, thankfully I've got more of it over there so perhaps I'll do a video about um, uh, about a natural edge turning one day um, and, may, and, and maybe do some colour on the outside don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see because I am quite into my colouring at the moment um, and I love the way it's lower on one side than on um, than on the other so it's kind of um, yeah, it's nice like that and then yesterday um, for those of you that follow me on um, uh, woodchuckers or rather are on woodchuckers and maybe follow me on Facebook and also on my blog um, I turned Flaming Maple um, the other piece of um, bird's eye maple that I have uh, came out of the same piece of wood as as Fifi, um, and yeah, she was turned by eye. Um, but I just love the um, how the colours have come out. Um, where is it? And the uh, and the chatoyants. I don't know if you can see there um, on on this part here how. Um, how the light is affecting the colour and how she seems to change colour, um, and it does when you get it in the sunlight. It looks like uh, looks like the bowl's actually on fire um, with the colours. Um, there's red, orange, yellow in there, um, which was the bowl was sanded to 400 first, and then coloured, fairly roughly coloured, and then rubbed back with 600 more colour. A squirt of denatured alcohol to blend everything together. Um, sanded back again, more colour, acrylic sanding sealer, and then two coats of Hampshire sheen on the outside. Then I turned the inside of the bowl, uh, scorched the edge because I didn't like the uh, the deep blue that I'd put on there, so I burnt that off and scorched 
scorch the edge, um, and then one coat of Hampshire Sheen on the inside. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty pretty piece as well, I like that. Um, now, I've been having a think as well about the range of items that I produce. Some of them are obviously going to be fairly inexpensive, um, like the little bud vases and stuff like that, but when we get on to when we get up to really special stuff, I thought I could create a collection of coloured bowls and special bowls and stuff that will be given a number and a title, um, like Flaming Maple, Fifi, Silver Sea, um, Golden Fire and um, such and such. So each bowl is going to be given a number um, and a title and that will be pyrographed into the bottom. Um, um, with my name underneath as well, and probably the month and the year that it was turned. And then I'm going to keep um, a little book, my little book of bowls, um, which will um, keep a record of every bowl that I've turned, um, the wood, um, what I did to it, um, the date that it was turned, um, you know, and stuff like that. And also, in the bottom will be the metal inlays. Um, this one's got brass... Um, brass in the bottom of that one. Fifi has copper um, and yeah so that's the, the general kind of thing on there and then hopefully um, the items will have a, um, a slightly greater perceived value um, to um, any buyers which means they might be able you know they might be interested in spending a little more a little more money um, on it because they are obviously very very much one-off pieces. Um, so yeah we'll, we'll, uh, we'll suck it and see. Hampshire Sheen's been going quite well recently. Um, if you have purchased a pot of Hampshire Sheen, thank you very much indeed. Um, it's great. I hope you enjoy it. Um, most people who've, who've um, come back to me after buying a pot have, um, have uh, complimented its finish. So thank you very much indeed for that. Um, um, yes, I'm not going to be doing 100 milliliter pots um, anymore. Um, after the current stock of 100 mil. Uh, milliliter pots is gone. I'm just going to be doing 250 mil and 400 mil um, purely because it's a bit of a money saving thing. Um, I need two sets of labels, um, one for the 100 mil pots and another set for the 250 and 400 mil pots and it, the figures don't quite work out quite well enough. So after the current stock of 100 mil is gone there'll only be 250 and 400 mil left. Now the other day, um, Wednesday it was, I popped into Axminster in Basingstoke, um, which is only about 14 miles away from where I live, um, and was having a little chat with um, Simon, the manager over there. Um, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago when I was in there that I was producing um, my own finish, um, showed him a couple of pictures and what have you, and he asked if I could take in a pot, um, take in a pot to give to Colwyn, who is there their uh, lead demonstrator. Um, so I did that on Wednesday um, and took in um, a collection of pieces as well that I had um, um, that I'd finished with Hampshire Sheen, um, including Fifi and Silver Sea, Golden Fire and the Beach and Cedar of Lebanon bowls that I turned um, last week and the week before. Uh, and he was really impressed and he booked me there and then for a demonstration. Um, which is which is fabulous news. Um, I was really really chuffed with that. So, 21st of November, um, if you are around the Basingstoke area and you fancy coming along to have a um, have a have a nose at a demonstration that I'm doing um, about prob probably texturing and colouring um, along the lines of Golden Fire and Silver Sea. Um, so, if you are in Basingstoke, 21st of November between 10 and 4. Um, I'll be doing um, some demonstrations um, on texturing and colouring at Axminster in Basingstoke. So yeah, chuffed to bits with that. Um, I need to put the final details together and um, go through a couple of ideas with uh, with the team over there. And um, hopefully we'll be in for a good day. This weekend, um, this weekend um, the workshop's going to be in a state again as I'm walling up the door. Um, the garage door, um, which is... Uh, keeping me cool at the moment um, is, is going to go and I'm going to wall it up and put a put a, um, a smaller door in there obviously um, and then put a workbench um, around around the new wall space that I've got so I've got somewhere that, that, I, that I can leave a sort of a permanent um, Hampshire Sheen base so I've got my normal workbench over there and a Hampshire Sheen bench um, over here and also I can put some cupboardy stuff 
up to and then the um, uh, the extractor is going to move outside in a little cupboard of its own uh, so that's going to be a rather busy weekend so I'm looking forward to that uh, Turner's Rest if you have uh, subscribed to Turner's Rest recently the uh, the free magazine newspaper -y type thing that I publish each week um, at turnersrest.com thank you very much um, it's getting the the, uh, the reader numbers are going up every week which is fabulous um, as it it shares um, sort of the most popular wood turning and sort of woody foresty orientated um, uh, blog posts and website posts and stuff like that each week as well as photos and videos too um, so if you have subscribed thank you very much um, if let me know what you think of it as well and if you know of any um, really good uh, non-commercial uh, um, providers um, pr pr providers what am I talking about um, the bloggers um, wood turning bloggers that kind of thing then then let me know I can check them out and maybe put them on the list of um, list of uh, list of contents which will be which will be great so that's about it for this week um, I was going to talk about um, the other airbrush and the siphon feed um, bottles and stuff but I have run out of time this week so I'll have to do that again another time thank you very much indeed for watching I'll look forward to seeing you next week for another video uh, not sure what it will be yet um, it might be scorching and airbrushing and texturing could be a bit of overkill on a piece but we'll have to wait and see so that might be what the video is but otherwise I will see you next week for Turner's Journey Part uh, nine. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.